Larry Kudlow made a big mess of the numbers. He was being interviewed on Fox Business, and he falsely claimed that the federal deficit was actually coming down. He said, quote, the deficit, which is one of the other criticisms, is coming down, and it's coming down rapidly. The only problem is it's not coming down. The deficit for the fiscal year 2016, two years ago, was $587 billion. For last year, 2017, it was $665 billion. That went up, guys. Even if he were talking about this year, the current fiscal year, 2018, which ends in September, the Congressional Budget Office, CBO, says the deficit is already $530 billion through May, which is up more than $97 billion for the same time last year. But, but wait, there's more. CBO also says the trillion, dollar ta uh, the trillion dollar plus tax cuts that were passed last December will e be even more to the federal deficit. They'll add to it, including any growth from tax cuts to the hot and tasty tune of, wait for it, $1 trillion per year. That's per year, an additional $1 trillion by 2020, just in two short years. I mean, tax cuts can certainly help reduce the deficit. I understand that. You bring in more revenue, uh, they can help reduce, they can add more to the, add more to the government coffers, and therefore, the de deficit may not look as big. But to say that it's going down would be a mistake. I mean, perhaps it's not rising as fast, but it's still rising. And look, the final thing is, look, we all make mistakes. I make a lot. I mean, I, I make one when I'm talking to you now. If we make a mistake on a number, we try to correct it as soon as possible. But when your job is the top economic advisor for the president of the United States, for gosh sakes, you make a false claim, correct it. Mr. Kudlow nor his representatives have chosen to comment on the air.